everybody and welcome to LTC Online. My name is Nicole and I will be your teacher for this uh, portion of the series. Today we are going to talk about the present simple tense. The present simple. Now the present simple tense is used in two different ways in English. We use it, first of all, for a fact. A fact is something that is always true. So we use present simple for a fact. An example of a fact would be, for example, I speak English. I speak English. That's a fact. I speak it today. I spoke it yesterday, I'll speak it tomorrow, it's a fact. I speak English. Okay, we also use present simple when we are talking about a habit. A habit is something we do every day. It's part of our schedule. So, for example, every day I wake up. I get out of bed, I drink a cup of coffee. That is my habit, that is my daily schedule. And for those verbs, I would use present simple. So the second time we use present simple are for habits, or when we are talking about our schedule. Okay, something that we do the same every day, part of our daily routine, our daily life. Today I'm going to actually talk to you about present simple and how to make a present simple sentence in the positive. Okay, an affirmative present simple sentence. So, look carefully. In English, we have I. We have they, we, and you, okay? These are pronouns, and a lot of the time, verb, verbs in English will change depending on the pronouns. Now, in present simple, these pronouns go together. I, they, we, and you, because those pronouns just take verbs in their base form. For example, I said before, I drink coffee. I do it every day. So I will say, I drink coffee. Okay? They, we, and you, I say the same thing. Drink coffee. Okay? My friends, they drink coffee as well. I drink coffee. My friends drink coffee. Now, where you have to be very careful in present simple is she, he, and it. Because she, he, and it can get tricky. For she, he, and it, we add an S. And I have a special way of remembering this. Do you know this symbol right here? Yeah, that's the symbol for Superman. Do you know Superman? He's a hero, a superhero that flies in the air. Okay? I like to use this to remind me that she, he, and it will always have an S in the affirmative. For, so, I say I drink coffee, but if I'm talking about one friend who is a girl, I will say she drinks coffee. I put an S on the end of drinks. And that works for everything. If I say I work in a school, okay, but another teacher, for example, teacher Ryan, he works in a school. As soon as I use he, I use an S. As soon as I use she, I use an S. Just remember Superman. She, he, and it is Superman. Superman puts an S on the end of every verb. 
Okay, thank you for joining me in this lesson. I hope you have learned a little bit about present simple, affirmative questions, and I hope that you will join us for the next part of the series when I will move on to negative and interrogative questions.